Welcome back students to lecture 7 and today we are doing 7.3. Please do not attempt this activity until you have your V lookup working. Today we are going to use something called H lookup which is V lookup turned on its side. So we're looking up horizontally where V lookup looks up vertically. So where before we were working with columns, we are now going to be working with rows. Let's have a look at the question paper quickly on 7.3. This is very similar to HLOOKUP, that's why I would like you to get HLOOKUP working first. And let's have a look what we would like to do here. Make it larger so you can see. After my exp explanation, there is an explanation here. If you understand it from the video, you may move to open the results a lookup exercise. And what we want here simply is we have here a list of names. Andy, Doe, Steve, Glenn, Mark, Simon, Tim and Jack and each of them got a mark for science, maths, English and history. At the moment we want to use Glenn's marks to look up his science mark, his maths mark, his English mark and his history mark. So what we are saying is in these yellow cells is going to be an H lookup. H lookup number one, H lookup number two, H lookup number three and H lookup number four. And as per V lookup, the column index number is going to change, and that is all. We get the first one right, and all you change after that is the column index number. But please be aware we are now working horizontally. Let's open the starter file of 7.3. our editing, always enable your editing and let's make this big enough to fill the screen so that you guys can see. There we go, that's the largest I can make it. Okay, if you recall with V lookups we didn't necessarily have to use the heading. You could have but we didn't use the heading. There is our array for H lookup, there is our array. The array works the same. It just searches across the columns now. Sorry, it searches down the columns as opposed to across. Let me show you by example. If you understand V lookup, you will understand H lookup. I'm going to go to formulas. I'm going to go insert function. And the one I would like is H lookup. Please search for it if it's not showing on yours. You just delete here and you type in H lookup. You tell it go and it will find your H lookup for you. Please do not use lookup. Many of the questions will tell you use the lookup function when they are referring to H lookup or V lookup. It is up to the student to interpret whether you are using H lookup or V lookup. We do not use lookup in this course. We use H lookup and V lookup. So I'm going to choose H lookup. And we will get a very similar dialogue to V lookup. The lookup value, well, it's Glenn Science Mark. So in my array, there will be Glenn there at the top left. So I'm going to put in there Glenn. Look up Glenn. Where must it look up Glenn? Well, there is my table array. It must go and find Glenn F4. Return for me Glenn's science mark. Now, instead of counting across the columns, all we do is we count down column index number one, which is Glenn. 
and Glenn's science mark is going to be column row row index number before we had column index number row index number two and we want to return an exact value so it is false so just taking a look at that again quickly the lookup value is Glenn instead of going across we now go down so row number one row number two row number three row number four row number five the answer we want is in row number two because it is Glenn science mark and we want an exact match and it's false and there we go it's telling me Glenn science mark is 65 double click have a look there H lookup what do we want to search for we want to search for Glenn where do we want to search we want to search including the headings all of these marks F4 because we don't want to go searching underneath here we want to return row number two which is there row number one row number two which is where his 65 is and false for an exact match Let's do it again for Glenn's maths mark. Insert function. H lookup. H lookup what? Again, please look across the rows. Search for Glenn. Where is our table array? There is our array and F4 because it's not moving. And Glenn's mark in maths is in row number three. Row number one, row number two, row number three. So there's row number three. Return for me row number three. And an exact match. False. And there we have Glenn's mark of 32% in mathematics. Not a very good mark. Glenn's English mark, insert function, H lookup. So we're just repeating ourselves, changing the row index number. Look up Glenn. Where must we find Glenn? In our array. F4 always. The row index number. Glenn's English mark is in one, two, three, four. So we'll put in there four and we'll put in false for an exact match. And it returns me Glenn's English mark, which is a 46. And then the final one, Glenn's history mark. Insert function, H lookup. What would we like to search for? In our first row, search for Glenn. Where must we search for Glenn? In our array. You can name these exactly as you can name an a a VLOOKUP. I'm just using the range or the array. F4. His history mark is in row number five so return for me that answer and we would like an exact match false and I tell it OK and there we go it's returning me his mark of 98 students I think this video is self-explanatory I think my, 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 my point is that you need to understand VLOOKUP before you are going to attempt an H lookup. If you are still struggling with V lookup or V lookup, please do not attempt this activity. Attempt this activity after you have your V lookup correct. And to recap briefly, V lookup will have an array and it will search on column number one. Answer column number two, answer column number three, answer column number four, column index number five, column index number six, column index number seven. That is a VLOOKUP. If we highlight the same array and we do an H lookup, 
it is row number one where it searches for Glenn and at the row index number two, three, four and five where we would like the answer. So all of these equations are the same except that we are changing the row index number. So if we have a look at it carefully for his science mark, H lookup I've included the headings because in the headings are the names. Search for Glenn. Where must it search? Well, anywhere in E1 to I5. What must it return? It must return for me whatever is in row number 2. And it's false because it must return for me an exact match and not an approximate match. That is a short lesson, students. Thank you for this lesson, for attending this lesson. Please go and have a look at your VLOOKUP. After you've completed your VLOOKUP and you're getting it right, you may attend the H lookup. Please feel free to ask us questions on the WhatsApp group and we will be happy to answer. To just reiterate quickly what I said in the last lesson, I have done for you with you on video 7.1 and 7.3. Please do them. When you have completed them, I would like you to move to 7.2 and 7.4, where one of them has a named range. 7.1 actually should have worked on a named range. I didn't do it that way. I'm not going to do the work exactly as you require, otherwise I'm doing it for you but we will give you all the necessary clues. So you would like to complete by Wednesday this week 7.1, 7.2, 7.3 and 7.4. Thank you for attending this lesson and I hope you have a great day.